Hello everyone. This is a question of CSIR net, and in this question we use two methods. First, shortcut techniques, and uh, second is uh, regular single point techniques. Uh, actually, here we have to find uh, y double prime zero, uh, and given that four uh, x double prime two y prime plus y equals to zero. Say this equation one, and uh, y0 is equals to 1 say equation 2 uh, differentiate equation 1 with respect to x we get two y double prime y prime is equals to zero. Uh, say equation three. Put x is equals to zero in one implies that four zero y double prime zero plus two y prime and y zero is equals to zero. This implies that zero. 2 prime 0 plus using equation 2 y 0 is equals to 1 and this implies that y dash 0 is equals to minus 1 upon 2 uh, say equation 4 now put uh, similarly put x is equals to 0 in equation 3 we get 4 y double prime 0 plus 0 plus 2 double prime 0 plus y prime 0 equals to 0. This implies that 4 double prime 0 plus 2 double prime 0 plus y prime 0 is equals to 0. This implies that 6 double prime 0 plus y prime 0 0 implies that uh, y double prime 0 equals to minus y prime 0 upon 6. Uh, now using using 4 implies that minus 1 upon 6 into minus 1 upon 2 this is equals to 1 upon 12 that is uh, we have y double prime 0 equals to 1 upon 12 this is our answer now come to option uh, this holds this correct wrong wrong to solve this question that is uh, a regular single point technique here we have given that 4x y double prime plus 2 y prime plus y is equals to 0 this can be convertible as y double prime plus 1 upon 2x y prime plus 1 upon 4x y is equals to 0 we compare this equation with the y double prime plus 3x y prime plus qx y is equals to 0 here we get px is equals to 1 upon 2x and qx is equals to 1 upon 4x here we notice that x is equals to 0 at x is equals to 0 p and q both are not continuous because in a denominator we have x uh, implies not differentiable uh, implies not analytic by the definition of analytic function at x is equals to 0 point this implies that x is equals to 0 is a similar point because both are not analytic uh, as you know that similar point can be at part as a regular singular point and irregular singular point if a singular point x is equals to 0 is said to be a regular singular point if x minus 0 px and x minus 0 square qx both are analytic at x is equals to 0 otherwise it's said to be a regular singular point to use this technique x is equals to 0 yeah other points must be a regular singular point is equals to limit x tends to 0 of 
x into px and s is equals to limit x tends to 0 x minus 0 square uh, of qx now come to second page uh, here for regular single point we have to form uh, initial equation in variable m uh, which is equals to m into m minus 1 plus mr plus s is equals to 0 and uh, r we can find able as 1 upon 2 and s find able as 0 now put these r and s value in this equation uh, in this equation and we get m m minus 1 plus m by 2 is equals to 0 after solving this equation by quadratic formula we get m is equals to 0 and 1 upon 2 these are the root of initial equations now these two roots are distinct and not differ by any teacher that is the difference between 0 comma uh, 0 minus 1 upon 2 this is equals to 1 upon 2 which is not belongs to set of integer this implies that we get two independent solution for this initial equation at m is equals to 0 and m is equals to 1 upon 2 uh, for simplicity we take m is equals to 0 in this question such that uh, question take uh, less time to solve this this as uh, x is equals to 0 is a regular single point because uh, about discussion and a solution and, and this implies that solution uh, of this core or differential equation is the form y is equals to summation a n is equals to 0 to infinity a n x power n plus n here we take uh, m is equals to 0 for simplicity uh, this will reduce to y z coefficient of uh, x i this will reduce the given equation into this form 4 n n plus 1 into n plus 2 n plus 1 uh, into a n plus 1 plus a n is equals to 0 uh, where n belongs to a set of natural number 0 and 4 n is equals to 0 this this equation is reduced to a1 is equals to a0 plus 2 and 4 n is equals to 1 this equation is reduced to a2 is equals to a1 upon 12 further written as a0 upon 24 now uh, put the value of uh, a0 a1 and a2 this equation uh, here actually y is equals to summation n 0 to infinity a n x power n this equals to a n plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square solution will be in this form for m is equals to 0 now come to second uh, y is equals to a naught plus a naught upon 2 x a naught upon 24 x square now here a naught is a arbitrary constant which can be findable with the help of our initial conditions y0 is equals to 0 this gives us a0 is equals to 1 square upon 24 and so on uh, we compute up to this x square because we have to find uh, y double dash at x is equals to 0 so this is enough for this and y dash is equals to 1 upon 2 2 x plus 24 plus and uh, y double dash x is equals to 1 upon 12 and term containing x and its power so for x is equals to 0 y double dash equals to 1 upon 12 this is our option b so option b is correct and uh, all the is